In this video, we're going to study inclined planes, which are one of the fundamental machines known to man. And here is a situation which a lot of you must be familiar with, especially anybody who's pushed a weight up a ramp. So what we have is a block of mass M, which is resting on an inclined plane on a ramp, with, which makes an angle theta with the horizontal. And we have this person who's trying to push it up. And what we want to know is how much force does the person have to apply so that the mass does not slide down or go up. That is, the mass remains static. So by now you should have guessed we are going to make a free body diagram. So making our isolation volume. This is the first cut that we make. That is the contact between the mass and this inclined plane because of which there is going to be a normal reaction. And here is a second cut we're going to make, which is between the con in the contact between the block and the palms of the man's hand. Again, there's going to be a normal reaction equivalent to the amount of force that the person is applying. So isolating this block. Now let's draw the weight. The weight of the block is the acting downwards, which is equal to mg. There is a normal reaction. Again, let's remember how normal reaction acts. One, it's perpendicular to the surface. So since the surface is at this angle, our normal reaction will be along this line. And two, it's going into the isolation volume. So the isolation volume in this case is shaded like this. So since it's going through the surface into the isolation volume, it's in this direction. So drawing the normal reaction, we have a normal reaction that acts over here. N. And finally, again, a normal reaction from this side, which will be a force F. Now to get this val the value of this force F and the value of this force N, we have to resolve, we have to balance the forces. Now, before we can balance the forces, what we need to see is this is not a unidimensional case like a lot of the questions that we've been doing till now. There are forces in two different directions involved. Secondly, so let us describe our two dominant directions by x and y. So we can see that the normal reaction is in the y direction and the force being applied by the person is in the x direction. But what direction is the force mg in? The force mg is somewhere in the middle and we will have to resolve this force. So to resolve this force, what we first need to recognize is that this angle is equal to theta how you can see that the inclined plane makes an angle theta with the horizontal. So the perpendicular to the inclined plane must make an angle theta to the perpendicular from the horizontal that is the vertical and we know that the, that mg is vertical. So now splitting mg into two components we can see that one of them is mg cos theta. and the other is mg sin theta. Now we can just balance forces around the y direction and the x direction. Keep in mind that I'm solving this problem as a particle problem. We are not considering torques over here. So what we are assuming is that all of these forces are passing through the same point. So here we come to know that n minus mg cos theta is equal to 0 which gives n is equal to mg cos theta. Similarly f minus mg sin theta is equal to 0 which gives f is equal to mg sin theta. So now what is the use of this inclined plane. What we can see over here is that the force that the person is being required to apply is equal to mg sin theta. Now mg is the weight of the body which is being multiplied by sin theta and as we know sin theta is less than 1 for theta going from 0 to 90 degrees. Hence the person will not have to apply a force equal to the entire weight of the body the person, he or she, will have to apply a force which is less than the weight of the body, which is why using a ramp, we can actually push a fairly heavy block 
upper distance. Now you might wonder, well, sine theta is equal to zero when theta is equal to zero. So if we simply make the ramp horizontal, then the person won't have to apply any force. That is true, but in that case, the person would be pushing the block up either. So there is always a compromise between the angle of the ramp and the amount of force that the person has to apply.